Whether you're craving cheesecake, pie, cookies, or ice cream, you're gonna be able to satisfy those cravings with just these three recipes and all in under five minutes. I'm gonna show you how to make at least eight keto desserts with just three recipes, and all of these don't take very long to make, and I bet you already have most of these ingredients in your keto pantry. By turning these comfort food favorites into keto versions, you'll be able to stay focused on your goals and feel good about it, even though you're faced with temptation. Now I'm gonna to get to cooking so I can show you how easy this is. First up, we're making keto cheesecake fluff. It's basically cheesecake filling, but it's so much easier to make than a whole cheesecake, and it only is three grams of net carbs per serving. Start by adding eight ounces of softened cream cheese to a large bowl. Then add in a quarter cup of powdered sweetener. You can use your favorite just as long as it measures cup for cup with sugar. Another option is to use Chalk Zero's vanilla syrup, just a quarter cup of that. And when you use the syrup in this recipe, it gives it more of a softer texture as well as a little hint of vanilla flavor. One teaspoon of lemon juice, that's an essential ingredient to any cheesecake, it just brightens the flavor up. And just a pinch of salt to enhance the sweetness so that we get away with using less sweetener. Cream this together until it's smooth and then we'll set it aside. Then grab a medium bowl and then pour in three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Beat this until stiff peaks form, and then we're gonna combine the two. And in order to keep the airiness of our cheesecake, just start with adding one third of your whipped cream mixture to your cream cheese mixture. This will lighten up the cream cheese mixture to make it easier to fold in the rest of the whipped cream. Then add in the remaining whipped cream and gently fold in with your spatula. And I'm using my sprinkle spatula today. Now this is a base recipe for cheesecake fluff, so you could add different flavoring extracts or even cocoa powder if you wanted to get different flavors. Even if you wanna experiment with colors, add in different dyes to get different colors. This also makes an amazing dip for strawberries. Perfection. Just spilled it on my shirt. <laughs> And with only 2.8 grams of net carbs per one third cup serving, this is definitely gonna help you stick to your goals. One recipe I like to make when I feel like ice cream is chocolate mousse. And you can freeze this or refrigerate it just to stiffen it up a bit and it's just like eating ice cream. Besides that, you only need one bowl. So in that bowl, we're gonna add one and a half cups of heavy cream, Beat that with an electric mixer just until it starts to thicken, and then we're gonna add in one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And you could use melted chocolate in here too, like the baking chips from Chalk Zero. The one key thing that you're gonna have to do is make sure that your heavy cream is set at room temperature before you mix this. Otherwise, if you mix in cold cream with your melted chocolate, your chocolate's gonna solidify. For sweetener, add in one third cup of powdered sweetener, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. Beat that until stiff peaks form. Like I said, you can cool this in the fridge to firm it up or put it in the freezer to make ice cream. It's a great way to enjoy a nice tasty treat at the end of the day. When it comes to cookies, you guys don't have to make an entire batch. In fact, I recommend that you don't. You should just make one cookie because that's really all you need is just one cookie. And I've shown you before how you can make one cookie in under two minutes, but let's go over it again. All you need is two tablespoons of almond flour, one teaspoon of coconut flour, two teaspoons of sweetener, and I'm using a monk fruit blend sweetener. Whisk together until your dry ingredients are combined, and then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of softened unsalted butter, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and then one tablespoon of sugar-free chocolate chips. And again, I'm using chocolate chips by Chalk Zero. These are sugar-free and sugar alcohol-free, and they melt perfectly in your cookies. Now it's best to use a fork when you're mixing this together. You need to cut the butter into the dry ingredient since we're not adding an egg to the liquid. You don't need an egg in this recipe. If you were to add a whole egg, it's gonna taste like an eggy cookie, and nobody wants a side of egg with their cookie, at least I think. Then mold this into a cookie shape and microwave it at 70% power for 60 to 90 seconds. 
You could also bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for around six to 10 minutes. You just wanna bake it until the edges start to get golden brown. Now, the most important step when it comes to making these keto cookies is that you have to let them cool completely before you handle them. I get so many rave reviews on this recipe, but there are some people that say that they crumble. Well, they only crumble because you pick them up before they had cooled. So you need to be patient and let them cool. Unless you like to eat your cookie with a fork, then go right ahead. The best part about this recipe, besides the fact that you can make them in under two minutes and the fact that they're only 2.5 grams of net carbs per cookie is that you can make different cookies from this base recipe, like a double chocolate cookie. Add again, two tablespoons of almond flour, one teaspoon of coconut flour, two and a half teaspoons of sweetener. I'm adding a little bit extra because we're gonna add some unsweetened cocoa powder and it might be a little bit too bitter for some people. One tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, again, one tablespoon of butter, and then I'm gonna add white chocolate chips this time from Chalk Zero. Now that we have some base cookie recipes, let's make some pie. We can take that double chocolate cookie dough and press it into the bottom of a mini mason jar. This jar is a little tall and big, so my fingers don't reach all the way down to the bottom, so I'm gonna have to use a spoon to press in my cookie crust. Now for this pie, I'm just gonna use a quarter of my cookie dough. Then we'll microwave this at 70% power for 60 to 90 seconds and let it cool completely. And then we're gonna pipe in our chocolate mousse on top. Then top with some whipped cream and voila, you have a mini keto chocolate cream pie that is only 4.4 grams of net carbs. Now, how about a cheesecake with a crust? You can just take that chocolate chip cookie recipe and again, press one quarter of the cookie into the bottom of a mason jar, microwave it, once it's cooled, pipe in your cheesecake fluff and top with whipped cream. And now you have a mini cheesecake with only four grams of net carbs. See how fun it is to just mix and match these recipes and come up with different flavor combinations? Like I mentioned, you can make other one minute keto cookies with this base recipe, like peanut butter, white chocolate macadamia nuts. The possibilities are endless. Just click here to see how it's done.